Hello, this is the Xtreme XG505. This is part four of installing a mini bike seat frame. Um, I decided that I wouldn't come up with pipe on the side. I decided instead to go up with fence stake and attach it to my back frame here with water pipes and water tees. I used a half inch diameter threaded rod. I believe that that's a foot across. Ended up being just about right. I'm going to uh, cut the ends of those the threads off. Um, the issue I had with it though, this whole f seat frame is I thought, okay, if I if I center the pipe flange on the deck right in the middle, which that's what I did because the original mount for the bicycle seat post was sort of off to the right a little bit. I thought if I did all that, I center it to the frame at the back, that it ended up being pretty straight. Well, that didn't happen because the scooter sh the frame is deceptive. It sits, it's not quite straight um, as far as the centering. So I had to add these washers right here. Those washers uh, on each side. And I played around with it going back and forth because I want to center this seat to be pretty center with the uh, steering post and the frame. And this was about the best I could do. So, ended up alright. Um, that's one thing you want is your seat to be straight. It's definitely strong enough. I was able to incorporate um, BMX foot pegs. I'll lay the scooter down here a little bit and show you all. Show you the the metal. Yeah, what I did was I just I added washers to space everything out under there. I have the rear wheel just sitting in place. The chain isn't tensioned yet because you have to add the motor on, and um, that that'll st strengthen the uh, gearbox bracket. Because right now it's not rigid. You have to you have to bolt the motor on, and there's a plate that goes on the frame here, and that all bolts together. Otherwise, I won't get an. My chain won't be accurate. Uh, the tensioning of it. But if this thing's on the way of getting put back together, uh, I think I'm going to leave the seat where it's at. I'm not going to space it anymore with the washers. But I just worked on this a little bit each day. Um, hadn't had a video up in a while. So I thought I would show everybody what I ended up doing. Um, I was going to come up with 6 inch pipe, like hook pipe tees right here, come up 6 inches and then go across with some flat steel, but I decided the fence stick flat steel would do best and then just bolt it all together. That ended up being the easiest, plus my foot pegs would have ended up being down here and they would have came out longer than what they are now and I angled this flat thing flat steel I angled it so it sticks up a little more so if I lean the pegs aren't going to hit the ground so that worked out a lot better but um, the engine fits really well there um, on a side note I've got got this uh, one gallon metal gas tank that's going to go under the seat. Um, I've got the bracket right here. I'll come over here and do a little test fit. It's 
it's going to go right under here. It's going to it's going to fit the pole under the seat. It's not too it's going to look really good too. So so got to do that. So I'll, I'll show you a shot here with uh, the motor sitting in place. Well, here's the motor test fitted. I just have the motor bolts uh, tightened up in there a little bit by hand. And I put my uh, gas tank bracket on. I don't have it tightened down. It's still might adjust it a little bit up or down. I don't have the metal bands in place yet to hold the tank on. They're still right here. I have to sand them down and paint on those red bands. So this is what it's looking like. Um, the mini bike seat frame. Just, the angles turned out pretty good. It matched up uh, right here. Just the right, right around the same angle as the same tilt angle as, as the motor. So, not too bad. Up underneath here where the original gas tank was, um, there'd be more air exposed right there to the cooling fins right here on the motor a flywheel fan so it'll maybe that might help it a little bit keep it cooler um, added brass fittings here uh, for the return line for the primer bulb uh, which is one eighth uh, barbed fitting on a one fourth pipe um, the other one's a one-fourth barb on a one-fourth pipe. That's going to go to a standard uh, lawnmower type fuel filter, and then I have a reducer that's going to go back to one-eighth, just so I can reattach to the uh, fuel and return lines on this on the carburetor. Um, but. Yeah, I believe that this gas tank, I know it's at least a four quart, it could be a five or a six. It looks a little bit large, larger than my one gallon. It might be the same or a little more. I'm not sure. But um this mini bike seat frame uh, turned out pretty good. Now to to complete the scooter, uh, I'm gonna have to add uh I'm going to add a brake cables. I've got new brake cables front and rear. i got a new throttle cable, new brake handles that are metal. The original uh, brake handles were plastic. So, I'm upgrading those. So, I'm anxious to get this thing uh, all the way back together. But it still take my time, so I do a good job. So... Um, here's the update, um, looks pretty neat, should be pretty neat, so, there it is, alright, see you later.